Although the annual Chinge celebrations in Johor Bahru have been scaled down significantly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the event is still described as meaningful under the new norm. MCA President Datuk Sri Dr. Wee Ka Siong said that this celebration used to attract between 300,000 and 400,000 people annually. Okay, first of all, I would like to congratulate the Federation of Johor Bahru Chinese Federation and the five clans in uh, Johor Bahru for, for their effort uh, in conducting this event. First of all, I must say that, you know, I'm convinced that they've done their best with regard to the compliance with the SOP, as outlined by the authority, uh, namely uh, Majlis Keselamatan Negara. So I think this is something that uh, I, can, I, can, I can testify that they have done their best. He said this after attending prayers at the Johor Ancient Temple along Jalan Trus on Thursday. Dr. Wee, who has been attending Chinggi celebrations since his university days, said this was the most significant event for the Chinese community in Johor Bahru. He said the spirit of togetherness and unity among the five clans is truly reflected in the Chinggi procession, which has been going on for the past 150 years and cannot be found in other cities. On a separate issue on the appointment of new village heads in Johor, Dr. Wee said any issue should be discussed and negotiated among the political partners. I feel full confident in the state government, especially the Mekimusa. So any problem, it can be resolved through negotiation. And there must be reason uh, for every decision made by the state government. So no need to come out in open and make decisions. This is not our staff, okay? Because as partners, we can discuss, uh, we can have negotiation. That's no problem. Dr. B said MCA had also submitted its list for new village heads and negotiations were ongoing, adding that fundamental issues needed to be resolved before these appointments are made.